It is important, I think, to once again let everybody know how much I appreciate the, the chair and the speaker uh, for their bipartisanship, for their open-mindedness, and for their uh, friendship in working together. Obviously, we couldn't have disagreed more on a separate issue, but uh, when it comes to making sure that the right thing happens in this instance, well, we certainly are in agreement. And so um, first I want to talk about the pilot bill and that is now before us. What, what this does is, just so everybody understands, first and foremost, it, it corrects a fatal flaw, of my, uh, flaw which my friend uh, some in pre, uh, Caputo pointed out. I call him Prieto now. Uh, my, I'm moving up, uh, Ralph. You're, you're in the back. <laughs> Uh, Ralph. Um, but that is this, that how can you have a plan to stabilize taxes by eliminating costly tax appeals that allows you to file costly tax appeals? It's just silly. And only in Trenton would somebody even put that in a bill and call it a pilot. It's almost funny. Um, when, you, when you look at the uh, takeover bill and trying to, to bring it down, uh, we should be working together in a partnership. It's not the state versus a city. We are all uh, interconnected. We all have the same goals. We all have the same objectives. And we should be working together. And this notion that somehow the state is going to take something over in and of itself, uh, uh, I don't necessarily believe that history would prove to you that that's always uh, uh, the answer. In other words, uh, we should be working together, and uh, this bill takes that step in that right direction of working together. When you're talking about people and you have uh, organizations and groups who have said that we are willing to work with you, we've uh, taken reductions, we've taken cuts, we're sitting at the table, we understand that the taxpayer can't afford business as usual. We get it. We understand that. How can we help? When they say that to you, why would you just turn around and punish them? Why would you not reward that be uh, behavior and come to the table and work with them? Show the good faith. And all of these things are not Republican or Democrat issues. And uh, I appreciate uh, everybody realizing and pointing out that the, uh, the bill as it's uh, designed is brought by one party and a person favoring it is brought by another party. And uh, so there's some bipartisan effort, but we're also having some bipartisan effort here as well. And this is effort just to work with them to, to get it right. And uh, so I give the speaker credit for having uh, the courage to, uh, to put the bill together and to continue the dialogue. If it can't be done in a room, then it'll be done through the bills. And so... Um, at this time, of course, I, I am very much in support, uh, respect, and appreciate the speaker. I will vote in favor of this, but I want to make this one last point. I want to say this real loud and clear. The next step is for everyone to come together. The next step is to stop the press conferences. The next step is to stop the insults. Uh, I am calling on Governor Christie. I am calling on Senator Sweeney. I am calling on Speaker Prieto, I am calling on Senator Keene, and I am calling on Leader Bramnick to get together, to sit in a room, and to work this out. What we're talking about and why this is so important to do is we're talking about people and lives in the future of not just our city and our region, but the state. And it's too important to allow it to be dictated by sound bites. Now, I tell you what, I'm going to provide my office... We'll bring them down to Atlantic City. We'll give them White House subs. And if they can't get along, I'll pay for a mediator. But that is a challenge in what I am putting out there to let cooler heads prevail. Let's move the city, the region, and the state forward. Thank you.